Lionel Nelson here, and welcome to A Father's Note, promoting fathers through building men. It's so important that we always stand up for our fathers. We want you to know we're with you. We're standing behind you 110%. Overall, overall, what would you say that life has taught you as a man? Uh, life has taught me as a man, first of all, to be true with myself. Because once I'm honest with myself, I can be honest with others. You understand? Um, right, right. And I keep going back. It's just that I lived a lie for so long. I lived a lie to when people saw me, it wasn't really me. So life has taught me because course I'm 50 now and to make more what you know wiser decisions and and to be mindful of my decisions and not making decisions without including my wife you understand right right, right. and that's, that's what life has taught me because I've had enough of not saying that I won't have there won't be more challenges or anything like that no, but I can handle them challenges better because before I used to contribute to the challenge. So right now I'm trying to walk on this straight and narrow and I'm grateful to God that there's nothing I don't, I, I, I don't keep from my wife. There's no hidden agendas. There's no side chicks. It's just my wife, God, my wife, my, my kids, our kids. And you know, and that's what life is teaching me because you know, walking this path, life is so much better. Right, right. No, absolutely. What What are your goals and aspirations going forward in life? From this day forward, I um, my goal is to continue being true with myself because I want to be an example to every man, woman, boy, and girl. Um, because of what I, I know that I'm not the only one that experienced this, but I would love to always be in a position to help someone overcome hurt because you know where hurt is. I know, and I'm sure several people, but it doesn't mean that everybody knows how to overcome that hurt. Right. Right. And right. that's why I'm grateful to God that you have this platform, because I'm sure there are a lot of brothers out here watching this right now who are currently right now hurting and really don't know which way. And and this is as we stated earlier, they, they feel that it's, it's not manly to cry and they keep so much inside until they are, are about to explode because they don't have anyone that they can talk to. But now you have this open forum that we can talk and we can help people because this is a day by day walk. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. And, and just as if, just the same way we acknowledge God daily, mm -hmm. you know, grateful uh, of allowing us to see day after day. But that's my goal because I want to continue to um, to show people. And it's I'm not just living a life just to show people. But what I'm saying is that. I want to continue being truthful with myself because I know that sounds like I'm 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 nah, going, nah. but being truthful with myself, that's how the way I can be truthful with others. You know? Because right, I feel like right. in this day and time, if someone wronged you, it's causing you to have an ill heart, I think it should be addressed instead of just holding on to it and talking about it with someone else instead of addressing it with that person. And wow. listen, this is 2021. That's those are the things that we need to do. Okay, if right, there is right. issue, what I mean, what does the Bible say about this? You know, if you have an fault with your brother, you know, you go, go to him. him. Gotta go to so, him. So, and, and that's what I want to do. I, I want to, I don't, I don't promote divorce, right. but I also don't believe that someone, you, you're looking at someone who'd rather stay at work instead of coming home, but that's how bad it was. Wow. So, and, and, and so I'm not saying that I promote divorce, but I do promote mm -hmm. happiness. You gotta be happy. And, and you have to be happy right. because you, and, and the only person that can find that happiness and make you happy is yourself. You have to find that within yourself first. You can't, you can't just rely on someone else to make 
you happy, you have to find that happiness within yourself, number one. And that's what, and that's what I had to do. And once I fell in love with myself again and became happy, and then my beautiful Princess Danielle came in my life, it just, I, I'm just overjoyed. I, I, it's all, I almost can't contain it. You know, the happiness that I, that I have, you know, because that's how much, and I'm not saying it for a show. She, I tell her, listen, every day, you understand? I'm, I'm just grateful to God. So, wow. that, that's, that's my goal. Those are my goals. And, and, and I just want to tell the men, don't allow any another person, don't allow a woman to identify who you are. Know who you are within yourself. Don't allow another woman to identify who you are, to tear down your character to where you cannot be yourself walking in, in this in this thing that we call life. Because you actually are yourself. In actuality, it is the man who is supposed to give identity to the woman. Absolutely. Absolutely. Huh? You just